Hello and welcome to videosanoffice.com. Today I will be sharing 10 quick tips for working more efficiently in Access 2010. To create more room to view or work with the object page, just click this arrow or press Ctrl and F1 together on your keyboard and just minimize that ribbon. To see the ribbon again, click the arrow again or press Ctrl and F1 together. Seeing too many open object tabs, a quick way to close them is to point to the tab that you want to close and then middle click, that is click the mouse wheel. You can also quickly open or minimize the ribbon by double clicking on any of the ribbon tabs. Since we'll be using the sync all command to update changes to a web database, instead of clicking file and then sync all each time, it's a lot easier to add the sync all command to your quick access toolbar. Now syncing changes is a lot quicker. A snappy way to enter the current date in the date time field is to press and hold the control key on your keyboard and then press the semicolon key. To quickly exit from the backstage view, just press the escape button on your keyboard. To quickly open an object in either the design or layout view, select the object, press and hold the control key, and press the enter key. Note that for client databases, all objects open in the design view with this technique. But for web objects, tables open in data sheet view, queries and macros open in the design view, and forms and reports open in the layout view. To make sure that a border color for control stays a specific color, set the color for the control to a standard color from the color picker. Now you can change the object's theme without affecting the control's border color. When working in the Expression Builder or anywhere else where IntelliSense works, you can see the list of all the available items in IntelliSense by pressing and holding the Control key and then pressing the spacebar. This quick tip can be useful when you're publishing your database to the web. If you have lots of errors in the Web Compatibility Issues table, Start first by fixing the errors concerning the tables. By doing this, you'll be fixing most of the errors and you might be able to make the database pass the compatibility checker a lot faster. Okay, now it's your turn to go ahead and try out some of these quick tips. And don't forget to come back to office.com for more great information.